we use on our bearded dragons and this video is actually a highly requested video among bearded dragon keepers and people always ask a lot of questions um, regarding the diet that we give our bearded dragons so I'm gonna show you um, a few products and ways that you can incorporate into their diet okay first we are using this and also this one so if you want to know how we use these two products stay tuned okay guys before we show you how we use um, two of these products we're going to answer a few concerns first off we're going to answer a few questions regarding super pig the main concern will be are these supplements made with artificial ingredients okay the ripashi super pig is actually made of natural ingredients so you can see right here you have a list of very good ingredients over here you see that um, to summarize it we have paprika marigold flour algae meal rose hips hibiscus flour dried watermelon turmeric and probably other ingredients as well so it contains uh, a broad spectrum of carotenoids these are actually the natural color enhancer that can be found in nature itself so in the wild bearded dragons um, take a lot of insects as well as um, spiders as their meal and some small mammals as well they don't just consume the superworms hornworms and um, roaches that they do in captivity it's safe to say that these preys from the wild actually contain um, a lot of natural carotenoids already so the difference between in the wild, their diet in the wild and in captivity is that the main difference is that in the wild they have a wide variety. In captivity they are very limited and depending on where you live and um, your local source of insects as well, most people tend to only feed superworms and crickets. They may do contain carotenoids but at very very low levels. And that is also partly why a lot of people have experienced that um, after a year, the uh, reptile, especially geckos or bearded dragon, kind of become dull after a year in captivity. This has a lot to do with their diet, actually. And of course, UVB, ultraviolet B plays a part as well. But a lot of the carotenoids they need come from their food. So it's very important for reptiles that are in captivity to be supplemented with high quality natural um, carotenoids. It won't be so appropriate to call them color enhancer because they don't really enhance, um, I wouldn't say they enhance their color. I would say more appropriately, this product right here, this one, basically just help out your reptile to reach its natural potential for example an orange dragon will have very orange pigment if they take this supplement a red dragon will have a potential to show its um, redness but there is a limit of course which is limited by its own genetic so this is not an artificial color enhancer that will be dyeing your reptiles already. This is just to help out with their diet so that their body can have enough, enough um, materials to produce their natural color, put it that way. Mm -hmm. This product is also um, very highly regarded, especially Ripashi. Um, Ellen Ripashi is a very... Um, credible person in the industry of making reptile supplement he has over 10 years plus experience now I think now it's 2021 he would have more than 15 years experience in this line already and he is also a very uh, well-known breeder himself for geckos so I'm sure this guy knows what he's doing 
And the best thing I like about Alan's um, product is that um, he uses very high quality ingredients for his reptile supplement. In fact, he's using human grade ingredients, which is very important here because that's how you ensure that the animals actually um, get to absorb the majority of what they, they, they consume. If you are using just um, low quality ingredients, the animals may not absorb fully, may not fully absorb the, um, the, the, the carotenoids that you give them. So it's very important to use very, very high grade ingredients um, sourced from reputable source as well to ensure that it's safe for your animals as well as um, value for money as in it actually does what, it's, uh, prom what it promised to do. So if you're wondering whether you should try this product or not, I will highly recommend it because as Bearded Dragon readers ourselves, we have been using Allen's uh, product for many years now. We started using the Calcium Plus actually 10 years ago and we had to get this from Kuala Lumpur because we couldn't find them anywhere outside Kuala Lumpur. It's quite hard to find this product even in Kuala Lumpur itself. It's very pricey here in Malaysia um, but it's really worth it because of its quality. So I will get on with uh, I will get on to the calcium plus later on. We're gonna finish up and wrap up about the super pigment first. Can you hold this dragon for a while? It's really hyper. Another thing I want to wrap up about um, the super pigment is to stress also that. It's not only for reptiles actually. As you can see right here, it's stated that it's also suitable for, um, let me see, birds Bird, and fish, fish, amphibians as well. I don't know if Frogs. you can see that. Yep, amphibians, um, fish, birds. Basically, for birds, it's very simple. You just um, dust them in their uh, food, they'll consume them from there. And for amphibians, just like. Um, or other reptiles or fish, you can actually mix the super pig um, powder with a bit of water and then inject it into the food. For example, if you are using mice or frogs to feed your, your arowana and stuff or mice to feed your large snake, you can actually pre-inject or pre-gut um, lot this stuff into the prey first. That's how you pass the um, nutrition onto your reptile. Mm, you can't lot them first. Yeah. So the story goes that uh, Mr. Alan Ripashi first started this um, when first started going re, uh, going into research about the super pig was when he got a gecko. He got this really really red gecko, and uh, if not mistaken, it's the gecko he uses his branding here, right here. When he first got this gecko, it's really bright red like this. But after a year in captivity, it started turning brown and he, Mr. Allen started to, uh, Mr. Ripashi started to um, wonder why that happens. So from then on, he started the research and well, that's how this brand got started according to him. And ever since then, once he got it right and he found out that actually all these um, color thing on your reptile is actually a lot due to the uh, food and nutrition so he created this product to supplement and ever since then his gecko turned bright red again dark brick red again just like when he first got them so for those of you who really went into the wild for wildlife photography and stuff or you have seen documentaries about um, reptiles in the wild or birds even why do they color up really nicely in the wild compared to um, say in captivity this is one reason why the um, nutrition plays a very very um, major role in reptile colors animal colors to be exact just like flamingos when flamingo is um, given enough carotenoids and stuff they turn pink so it's something like that 
Okay, I think that's about it for this one. Oh, another thing I should talk about um, is how much to use, how much to use this product. According to its um, direction over here, you're supposed to use um, up to 4% inclusion level. Yeah, up to four, about 4% 4 of their um, supplements. Meaning to say, just mix 4% of this stuff into whatever they're taking right now. So that's what I've been doing. I mix it, this product with the Calcium Plus. And these are very value for money. A little bit goes a long way. You don't need to use oh, yes. much to see results. Yeah, the most important thing about um, seeing the result is consistency. Mm -hmm. You cannot expect um, the result to come out right away, of mm -hmm. course. It yeah. takes at least one to three months minimum, at least three months, because the body first have to absorb it, and of course other, other factors play a role too, especially UVB. Make sure your reptile, if they, are, um, they require basking and stuff, make sure you give them enough UVB as well. Okay, I so, think that's about it for this product. Yep, and one important thing is you will have to refrigerate after you oh, yes. open them to yep. extend the freshness. Mm. Yep. So remember to refrigerate them. Yeah, what I do is normally I just um, pork a few holes inside here. Let me open it up and show you guys here. I normally do not open the whole thing. I just a few holes although the, the cap comes with a hole already and this but I know I don't really use this I just poke a few holes so that that way I minimize the oxidization from being exposed to air right after I pour some into the cup for the reptiles to consume I just close this and put it right back into the fridge okay, it can last very long although it's very small like this Okay, next item will be the Calcium Plus. Yeah, one of the main questions will be, do you still need to use um, other... Supplements? Yeah, other multivitamins or anything like oh, that. Oh yes, we get this a lot. So, first the Calcium Plus comes with vitamin. Let me show you guys, yeah. The Calcium Plus comes with vitamin and calcium. Okay, it's an all-in-one supplement. So for this product, I love it. I love this product. This is like um, the foundation supplement for most of my reptiles. I use this product a lot. Um, it's very easy to use because you don't have to worry about um, using any other products anymore. This is why. It's because it's designed in a way that um, it's got the right ratio between um, your calcium and phosphorus as well as other vitamins. Ratio is very important as in it's very important to have the right ratio of all these uh, nutrients in order for your reptiles to digest them probably, uh, properly and absorb them. Otherwise it would have been no use. So for this product, it's very easy. You do not need any additional multivitamin supplements. You just use this one. It's got everything in one. So it's very easy. And you don't really need to worry about um, overdose and stuff because it's made of um, very, very natural and high quality, human grade quality ingredients. Mm -hmm. Some of the ingredients for that, that you can find uh, for humans will be kelp, brewer's yeast, Molasses, rose hip, marigold. Oh my goodness, most of the ingredients here are for humans. Yeah, and most importantly, they are uh, sourced from human grade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's why this stuff is slightly uh, more expensive than the other supplements in the market. Not the most expensive, but one of the ex on the expensive side. But it's really worth it after you have used it. I can vouch after using this stuff for like 10 years plus I can really vouch for this product because I've personally seen my reptiles improve a lot in terms of health and also 
color. Especially if you are a breeder. Yes. Uh, as breeders, we tend to use the best quality products as possible uh, because um, it's that very is important how for them. You produce um, quality good babies. babies. Yeah. yeah. Say hi. Uh, this is one of our hallback dragon. She's a leatherback. Very nice coloring. As you can see that she's just like uh, 3.5 months years. Uh, 3.5 months old, sorry, not years. So, there we go. Very, very high appetite, eat a lot. Mm -hmm. And later on, we're gonna feed them with two of these products mixed together. And do I, did I miss anything regarding the calcium plus? I don't think so. How often do you use this? Oh yeah, another question I get Can is... Can it be used every day? Yeah, I use this every day, every feeding. So you don't really have to worry about whether you use too much of this at all. That's the good thing about this product. So you just basically just use it as much as you want to. As well as store them in the fridge as usual with high quality products with, that contain natural ingredients that tend to oxidize very fast. So after you open and use them, make sure you store them airtight and in the fridge. That's about it. Normally, I give um, more than 90% of this and very little of the Super Pig. This one is just an additional supplement to make uh, to give them additional nutrients to help out with their natural coloring. Another thing I would like to stress about using um, the Super Pig is also that please do not um, expect your orange dragon to turn blood red or dark red or extreme red like i say um, their color has to be determined by genetic and genetic alone actually this product only helps with improving and giving them a, the best chance of showing their true colors put it that way uh, orange dragon will always remain orange it will not turn right uh, dark red and stuff Oh, you are fast. But it will definitely give you the best orange. Same with the reds and the greens and any other colors out there. So I've tried this product with my lovebird as well. It's been doing great. So it improves on the bird's um, blue color. As we all know, blue is very hard to supplement for blue colored animals because the blue pigment, I don't know, it's just a lot of products do not really supplement for the blue but tend to supplement a lot for the reds so this product does the job even for blue color animals so i haven't tried this product on fish but i hope that my viewers out there if you guys have fish betas wild betas or arowanas or any other fish out there maybe you can try it out gut load into your insects for those um, insects eating fish as well you can gut load this stuff into your dubia roaches also i think the blue actually comes from algae meal that you can see here cholera yeah probably cholera are something like yeah algae helps a lot with blues as well yeah we're gonna try it out Okay, I guess that's it. Yeah. If you guys have any more questions, please leave them in the comment section. Yeah, you guys, if you guys have anything to ask, don't feel... Just feel free to ask in the comment sections below. We'll try to answer them if we can. Otherwise, we'll try to source the answer for you. Okay, okay. let's feed so them. So now, we're going to show you how we feed our dragons. So just a bit of this super pig. There we go. That's the color of the super pig. Yep. Oh, look at the dubias. They go and eat the supplements. Yeah, this is how you cut lot them too. Not bad. And then a bit of calcium plus. Calcium plus is the white one. There we go. Then usually I just give them a good shake. And I 
cover it with it. Now let's fit the dragons. Does this also make them have better appetite? Yep. I do notice that generally if they are healthier, they have better appetite. Because of the natural ingredients, I believe it's not only to enhance their colour, it also helps in maintaining good health. There you go guys, as we have shown you how to use the super pig here and also the calcium plus here. At the same time, we also have the crusted gecko complete meal where you will only need to add water into the powder. So these are good for skinks, chameleons and iguanas. So they look like this. And last but not least, we have the red tea bite. Let you have a close up. These are by the zoo mat. And here are the ingredient list. You can see they are very long. And they are reptile vitamins without D3. So you will need to supplement with D3 as well if you get this. So if you are interested in all of these products, they are available at Evermore Pets. I will leave the links down below where you can get them and also we can ship anywhere. So be sure to check it out. You